All right, let's get this zombie unboxed. <gasps> wow. What? Wow. Really making these things realistic. A little too idiotic. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're playing the rain, and today we're gonna see just oh, how lethal or not lethal. It's that guy. It's that guy. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm back for another table throwing contest. Okay. All right, I guess you're up first. See you. Oh, that's pretty that's far. Bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I did better than I did last time. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Here it is. Whoa! Better luck next time, Houston. Better luck next time. Hey, wait, 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 wait. As a consolation prize, would you like to stay and film my video with me? Oh, yeah, that actually sounds fun. Cool, let's do it. Yay! So today we are going to see just how lethal or not lethal a pocket pistol is. We have a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso. And it's zombie actually good. hilarious because anytime I break one of these out, everyone says that I should just have you stand in. Yeah, you know, it uh, looks kind of like me. Uh, Give me. that thing a slap there. Solid, right? Yeah. I have a variety of pocket pistols for us to try out today. I'm oh. super excited. So how many guns does he have? So many. So we're gonna start out with the smallest pocket pistol we have today and mm -hmm. work our way up to the largest. Mm -hmm. The first one up is a 22 <gasps> short. That's it's so just small. This <gasps> tiny little 22 short, and this that one? weighs 27 grains. Hey. I don't know if I trust my life with that. No, I mean probably not. Like That's here, so tiny. Opens up. Load that little dude in there. I'll twist her around. And shut oh. it. Ow! I mean, that will do the damage for sure. Did it bounce off? Did you hit it? I no, I definitely hit it. I think it. Wait. No. Did it bounce no, off? Is it, is it... No, no, no. It's on the head. Dude, you shot him in the face. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was aiming for the torso. I meant to tell you that. This gun is like really inaccurate. I see. But uh, <laughs> what's crazy though is it didn't even make it in the skull. Come on. Ah, uh, uh, I that. got it. There's some pieces made it in. Okay, let's see what happens if we manage to actually like hit him in the rib cage. Here we go. Oh, nice aiming. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, we didn't hit the rib. We did make it. Looks into like it went him. to the lung. I don't even think it hit the lung. I think it went around it. Oh. People say stuff like, bro, oh, you'd be better off carrying a pointy stick. Well, I actually yeah. think you may be better off with a pointy stick. A spear. Yeah, something. A rock. <laughs> Definitely <Yeah>. not this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next step up is going to be 22 long rifle, and that is a 36 grain hollow point. And the gun we're using is a. Oh, you <laughs> The gun I'm using is an interesting one. This is a Colbre 22. You open this up. It holds six 22 long rifles. Six. That actually comes out. And then you close it. And then every time you shoot, you have to manually twist it. Oh, you All gotta right, twist it by yourself? Oh. Inaccurate this thing is. Here we go. Pop. Ow. Oh, there it is. It almost oh. made it through. Okay. Almost. We're already off to a better start than we did with the 22 short. The it's bleeding. It did not go straight. It looks like it got a little squirrely in there. Twisted in. I don't see it around the back, so it's probably lodged in there right there. 22 long rifle. It looks like it would definitely do some damage, but Ouch. I don't know how lethal that would be. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going with like a 2.5. So we did 22 short, 22 oh, long rifle. Oh, that's so small. Next, that's so tiny. 22 magnum. That's a 40 grain hollow point. And we'll be using this North American Arms revolver. 
Darn it. Oh, hold on. I know what I'm messing up on. That's going to have the cock back just a tad. Then you can pull forward and push forward. Is oh, it working? Got it. There we go. There you go. Opens up, and then you can Stop. pull around there. Boop. And I'm not really sure how this rotates. Did it work? So we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Nice. So I have heard a lot of stories about 22 Magnum and it actually being pretty effective. So I'm curious to see what it does to our torso here. I've actually never shot that one before. So I aim dead center. Dead center? Ah! I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally I wouldn't be upset about that, but I have to reload it now. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> A few moments that? later. Right, closer this time. Oh, oh, he hit it! Oh, oh, it just scratched it, I think. Missed right here. You got him right it here. straight through. I think it actually went through it. It did, it went all the way through. It did, it went through it. You hit him right here Ooh. in the peck region, and then it came out right there. That would hurt. Okay, I got yeah, one that would hurt. There. I want you to just, just right there. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> No way I messed this one up. It's literally... Closer. Get closer. Impossible. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Did it, did it make it through? Did it through didn't it? So, yeah, that went in. We have no hole at the back. Oh. Like it in there. Yeah, it's, so it didn't. It's in it there. didn't. Oh, it... It's not? Wait. Scale of 1 out of oh, 10. Oh, it didn't? 10 being the highest. I'm going to give her a 5. I might even go 6. I think the 22 Magnum seems pretty serious. Oh, it's bounced off? What? Make sure you're subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics and Houston Jones so you have something Sunny cool to watch with all your stuff in your face. Thank you for filming, Monza. I need a boy. Hey, hello, hello. All right, up next we have a little 25 ACP. And I've got some little 25 Oh, ACP that's so tiny. Metal jacket. It's tiny. You just got jammed. <laughs> All right, jammed! Go for about right there. Oh. <gasps> nice shot. Oh! Did it bounce off? Dude, it's right there. It stopped on his sternum. Oh! Your it sternum stopped. would have saved your life. Yeah, like that's. It's right there. Huh? Oh, that is. Come on. Come on. Nope. Look at that. Ooh. That little dude. Oh, it came out. Didn't do nothing. It hit you like, ah! Mike. Yeah. And I've got titanium wire in my chest now, so I know that just probably just boom. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there with the 22 short. Yeah, I think mm. that's Not very effective. I cannot believe Kick with a right there. That's crazy. Up next, I have a little double barrel Ooh. 32 ACP. And it shoots Looking the 32 cool. ACP. That is a 73 mm -hmm. grain full metal jacket. Flip that little lever there. And then it oh. pops open like that. Load your little round in there. And close it up. Yeah. She'll probably hurt like hell though. It, it does. It does. I think it will. Ah. Oh. Where did it go? Where'd you hit? Right here? Yeah, it uh. Tuko. No, yeah. That hit the sternum. I don't think it made it did much it further through? than the sternum though. I'm gonna give that one a three and a half out of ten. Three Up and a half? This is a handgun that I actually carry myself occasionally. This is a Ruger LCP Max. It's chambered in 380 ACP, and that's an Underwood Ammo Extreme Defender. I'm actually really curious Ooh. to see what this does. Let's go about right there. Huh? What happened? All right, we hit right there, and that broke Ooh. through that rib. Oh. And then made it through, but I highly doubt. Yeah, no. They didn't make it through. They did not make it all the way through him. I need to shoot. I want to shoot right here. Oh, okay. My homeland doesn't represent what I stand for, but I love seeing Kentucky representation in my life. Thank you for following me, Victor. And oh, 
broke through the oh, shoulder blade. It did! And it came out right there. Ooh. Dang. So the old 380 here with some Underwood Ammo Extreme Defenders. I'm gonna go with that's uh 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Ah. Tis the Halloween season. Be sure and be extra festive with my limited edition Halloween Just Put a Thumb in It t-shirts. These Yay! are only available for the month of October. T-shirt, 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 t-shirt,
So, uh, what are we doing? Just put on your seatbelt. <laughs> oh, ah! Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. What caliber were you least impressed? Zombie gun! Zombie poor zombie. <laughs>